These are called Archimedes screws. They've been used since ancient times to lift water. This one belongs to the Passaic Valley Sewerage Commission. The commission operates one of the largest treatment plants in the country, taking in sewage from more than two million people and businesses in five New Jersey counties and part of New York City. Located in Newark's ironbound section, the plant looks across Newark Bay to Jersey City and the Manhattan skyline beyond. On the night of October 29th, Hurricane Sandy pushed a wall of water up the Newark Bay, engulfing the entire 152 acres of the treatment plant in four feet of water. And that was not the worst of it. The plant that you see, or the plant that you might see when you come on the ground, uh, in that 152 acres is really only a, a portion of what makes Sake Valley Storage Commission run. Uh, there is a vast underground, miles of tunnels and galleries uh, where the infrastructure really lies. What you see of underground tunnels, very, very large underground tunnels, some of it with sophisticated instrumentation and machinery in it, and all that was entirely submerged. Uh, that brought down all of their systems offline. The core was brought in uh, for a dewatering mission. Uh, this was an agreement, uh, as my understanding is, uh, um, between uh, the President of the United States and the Governor of New Jersey. And so our mission came essentially directly from the President. In this location, we probably had about 15 feet of flooding. Other places in the tunnel, we've got 25 to 30 feet. And uh, the men who work on this and maintain it and operate it all have offices down here. They got locker rooms down here, showers. Uh, you can see clothes still hanging where the guys left them when they, when they left work the day the flood hit. And this is all underwater, 25 to 30 feet of water. It's all the way up there, right at the top of the ceiling. <laughs> Six inch surface pump. It's got a draft side that goes out to suck the water in, goes through the scroll case, gets pumped out the discharge side. This can reach down to pull water up from about 20 to 25 feet below the level of this pump. But we've we've dewatered all of the underground systems and we've also been helping to dewater some of their uh, above ground units so that they can inspect for damage. Uh, we, we asked them, what else can we help you with? What else do you need? And uh, their needs, of, of the sludge needs are huge. Um, this is a, uh, a, a brew, literally a brewing environmental catastrophe if we don't get this sludge out of here. So uh, the Corps and PVSC came up with a strategy on how to get rid of the sludge, a three-pronged approach. This is where the sludges are thickened and uh and uh, treated so that they can be safely used in landfill operations. Over on uh, the right side in those large tanks and on down into that building down there, the one with all the stacks coming out of the top, that's called the Zempro. And uh, that's the existing process they use for consolidating their sludges. The pad here is a uh, temporary centrifuge that's been brought in. It's a parallel path they're gonna do. And then this tan building over here had some existing centrifuges that were discontinued some years ago, and people are working on bringing that back online too. Failure here isn't an option. They've got to have a process, and they've got to have a process soon for processing the sludge so that they can get it out of here. 